All right, hey, Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we need all praise, honor, and glory to Double honors to our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing, many salutations unto you elect across the four winds of this earth, fulfilling your lots in all truth and all sincerity. All right, we are um, Great Millstone, Memphis, Great Millstone, Cali, Los Angeles, Ancient of Days, Great Millstone, Arkansas, and Great Millstone, Dallas. And the spirit is allowing brothers to come together within these last days, break bread, ultimately getting our minds prepared for the great family reunion that's about to happen in these chariots when your shot comes down. Lord's willing, we're found worthy to be part of that group whenever that takes place. But nevertheless, the Lord is having these men come together within these last days, these last days to exalt his name in a fashion that the earth has not seen and seen in a very long time which is also another indicator to show you that our Lord is getting ready to come back because the prophets are out. All right. But, um, you know, we just wanted to go into a lesson a day, just um, really freestyle through the spirit, touch upon a few things, an open forum, and Lord's willing is edifying. Yeah. You know, I got something on what you were saying. Mm -hmm. It's uh, Malachi 3 and 16. It says, Then they that feared the Lord spake Amen. one to another, and the Lord hearkened and heard it in a book, a remembrance was written before him mm -hmm. for them that feared the Lord and thought upon his name mm -hmm. which is playing out right now like you're saying brothers getting together and we, and we all get together anyway through uh, through the videos yeah. and through the yeah. through the internet and all that's these right, things right. Mm -hmm. and we we praise Yahweh Simi Yahweh and we constantly glorify his name man mm -hmm. daily mm -hmm. you know, you could, mm -hmm. man it was crazy the other night it was late at night brothers was live so it's like 24-7 there's a, a, a great millstone or a member of the body of great millstone yeah. um, pushing his word, man, glorifying glorifying your how about some Yahweh Shai. Yeah, but remember, like they say up in um, the scriptures, give him no rest until he makes right. right. Jerusalem right. a praise in earth. So that's what you see from us. That's, that's why right. you see, when you see great millstone, you ain't getting no gimmicks. Mm -hmm. All right? You're not getting no reality shows. You ain't getting what we, what, if we barbecuing together, you ain't getting that. You're you going to get that edification. That's right. And the things that matter to, uh, for um, what we're trying to do is in reaching our goal. That's right. Which is getting the freak out of America, you know? That's right. A little bit more. It says, and they shall be mine, says Yahweh by Simi Yahweh In that day when I make up my jewels, I will spare them as a man spareth his own son that Ooh. serveth him. Ooh. You know, not that serveth himself. Right. Or exalts himself some a man that serves Yahweh by Simi man that's right bro you know with a pure mm -hmm. intention and we are the we're the Lord's this is the Lord's doing just like Yahweh Shai said in John the 17th chapter that uh all that is thine thou has given unto me we are the we the heavenly fathers that's why we're so fervent that's about right. That's right. believing in the Lord because the Lord has placed his spirit in us mm -hmm. once again you know mm -hmm. that's right yeah he says um as the brother read it, in that day when I make up my jewels. You know, when you go into those jewels, those jewels are uh, very, they're called a precious stone. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Another name for the elect are also precious stones as well. Yeah, lively when you read it, lively stones, stones yeah. that's right. Mm -hmm. When you read it in 1 Peter, the second chapter. Yeah. So what, what what's taking place right now through the spirit is something very dynamic. And the whole world can't perceive it, man. But be blessed and be thankful that you are blessed enough yeah. to be part of this heavenly council, man. Woo! Because to be considered a jewel, this is only the God of heaven and earth we're talking yeah, about. Exactly. Only the creator of existence within itself. I know, right? right. You, know, you know what I'm saying? The all, oh, almighty. The all, right. That's a very mighty thing, man. Right, yeah. You know? To be here right now is basically we're here living out in, uh, uh, the scenario that the Lord prophesied about. And mm. we're playing it out. Yeah. Through the spirit, man. This this was prophesied. Us doing sitting on, on the couches, going out to the street mm -hmm. and constantly pushing his word. This was prophesied about, man. Yeah, yeah so it is. You, know, you go into so Psalm 19, it deals with the internet. I got so it right here. Oh, you got yeah, it? That's the spirit. That's the spirit. Right to it before you That's the spirit. Go ahead, bro. Yeah, for sure. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 19. I'm going to start from the top. It says, The heavens declare the glory of the Most High. The firmament showeth his handiwork. Right. Day unto day uttereth speech, Woo! and night unto night showeth knowledge. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's the internet through the mm -hmm. internet. The yeah. internet's basically uh the mule mm -hmm. that the Lord used to to carry and 
and push this thing forward. Yeah. You know, but it says, uh, what does it say? Day unto day. Utter speech. speech. Utter speech, meaning this this word, the word of the Lord is being constantly mm -hmm. distributed, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. And you then it, it goes back to uh, what the tribe of Levi had, which is Urim and the mm -hmm. which That's means right. uh, right. lights and reveal, uh, what is it? Lights perfection. And, and perfection. Mm -hmm. Or another way of saying it is uh, revealing in truth. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You know what I'm saying? Which is saying the other way, just use the synonyms. And that's when you cut that video on, cut the internet on, you're getting the revelations right. and the truth. That's right. That's right. Like we call this thing, we're in the truth. You'll tell the person, I'm in the truth. Mm -hmm. But you, the truth is is in the, is the word of the Heavenly Father. That's the truth. That's right. right. You that's know right. what I'm saying? And you're getting revealed to you what's going on in the world, what you need to do. Even other nations. Remember it told you that, it tells us in um, Jeremiah yep. that he was set up not, he was set up to be a prophet unto all the nations. Right. You know, so we are we are prophet telling you where you play, what, what, if your net, whatever your nationality is, where you play at in the Lord's word. If you're Israelite, where you play at, the spirit of the Lord. We we um, the Most High has placed that spirit on us, and when you cut on the internet, that's what you're getting. That's what you get. That's right. That's right. Come on, come on. man. Yes, Warner. Uh, there actually is. Mm -hmm. It says, um, day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Right, because this thing is, is, is global, man. Mm -hmm. you know, I mean, I mean there's, there's probably no corner of the earth this truth hasn't, hasn't touched already. Right, right. I mean, you got brothers learning from all over the planet, from all the Americas, Europe, Africa, you know, the Asia. That's right. All these continents, man. This right. truth is being uh, talked about. Right? That's right. Let me grab this pretty real quick. That's right. Okay. It's uh, Matthew 24 and 14 says... Yeah, it says in this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, yeah, right, and right. then shall the end come. So that's the reason why you witness in the end is right. here. That's right. He saw us to the point where he finna push the one of the uh, last prophecies that we waiting on, which mm -hmm. is the mo. You know, then you figure out the T, you know, yeah, to the yeah, B. Yeah. Straight up, straight up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we're at the end of this thing. That's right. And that's why it's no space for somebody talking about we don't know this part, we don't know that part. No, it ain't no space for that. We ain't got a lot, enough, a lot of time left before the final prophecy come upon us, in our, which is our final test. That's right. With mm -hmm. the Lord going to send you into um into the final test and you ain't even fully, he ain't fully equipped you. That's right. That's that right. don't make no that sense. sense. Mm -hmm. He's put on the whole armor. That's right, right bro. Which, which consists of the whole truth, man. The the one hundred percent. Yeah. You know. God, yeah. when you when you go into that word uh, testimony, when you go into that word witness right there, mm -hmm. you know the, one of the definitions that it goes into in the Greek is a testimony. Yeah. Which shows that it's going to be prophecy mm -hmm. that's going to be in the four corners of the earth when the end comes. Right. Because what is it saying? Revelation nineteen. That was the spirit. Yeah, spirit. Uh, nineteen the, and ten. Yeah. The, 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 the testimony of your house uh, is the spirit of prophecy. Yeah. You said you got it already. I had that right here. Man, that spirit is moving like a motherfucker. Hey, can I read one? Yeah, yeah, can I yeah, grab yeah. that too? This is uh, Romans 10 and 18. But I, but I say, have they not heard? Question. Yes, verily, their sound went into all the earth, mm. and their words into all the end of the earth. Wow. Man. Okay. That's, yeah. it, yep. That's why you see brothers over here in Australia, mm -hmm. and you hear about brothers waking up in Korea or Africa and yep. different countries of uh, yeah. Slavic old Slavic countries yeah uh, Italy because mm -hmm. it's it's gone to the, the whole ends of the earth that's right, that's right bro. That's right. okay mm -hmm. it says Revelation 19 and 10 and I fell at his feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of the outside we're showing you that this angel right here pretty much there's a very strong chance that he was on the planet Earth at a point in time, playing the role as a prophet. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? He says, "I'm the brother. I'm the brother that also had the testimony. Don't bow down to me. I'm just like you. Yeah, I'm just like you. Just like you. Yeah. Just like worship, you. worship Yahweh for the testimony. For the testimony of Yahweh Shad is the spirit of prophecy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right there. That's right. And that word, that word, spirit in the Greek is pronounced pneuma. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? When you go into that word, it literally goes into breath. So as it was just read, as the as the brother just brought up in, Ma in Matthew 24, mm -hmm. going into once this gospel is preached as a witness, right. you know what I'm saying, and all the earth then shall be income. Right. Well, guess what? That was what happening is prophecy. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. All right, prophecy is being uttered in Australia as the brother went into in yeah. America and yeah. in the UK and parts of Africa. Yeah. It's all prophecy that's going on right yeah. now. The Lord's breath is showing you what his breath is tied to, yeah. which also dismantles Christianity. Sure. You know, because they'll tell you prophets aren't aren't here anymore. Yeah. They Come completely slacky. What's that? No, no, I'm just agreeing with you. I agree um, with you. Mm -hmm. And they completely discredit the Old Testament, yeah. which you have the books of the prophets compiled in the Old Testament. Yeah. And they discredit all of that, man. Right. So you guys got a lot of explaining to do because the scriptures clearly says, reading between the lines, in the last days, the prophecies were going to come out. That's right, man. And then the end would come. That's the testimony. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got one, two, first Kings 18 to 10. As the Lord Yahweh, thy power liveth, there is no nation or kingdom <laughs> Whether my Lord have not sent to seek thee. Wow. Mm -hmm. And when they said he is not there, he took an oath of the kingdom and the nation, and they found thee not. Ooh. So that's why the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. That's but right. the Lord telling you, ain't no place on the earth where my word ain't been. That's right. That's and right. in that time. Right. You know what I'm saying? Man. I was just reading that too. Yeah. That day, sure. And not even seeing it in that perspective, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I guess I'm. And you do the Romany 32, I'm going to start at 1. Mm -hmm. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. <laughs> hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine should drop as the rain. Mm -hmm. My speech mm -hmm. should distill as the do. Look at the, you know when the rain drops, bro, it's everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's everywhere. And the, and the point of two is that, it's like, how do you know that the Heavenly Father is real? He says something and the shit comes to pass. Yeah, that's right. You know what I mean? That's right. It's like the yeah. Heavenly Father is stamping when he's that this is his property the, everything he says goes right it's like a stamp of his word gotta be everywhere everybody gonna know because when these things come to pass you ain't finna be saying molek did this right. <laughs> you ain't right. be saying boffin man you ain't finna say bitch ass he mm -hmm. did it mm -hmm. you gonna praise the god of the bible that's right. that the end goal when that when you read in isaiah the second chapter the end goal is that all nations gonna worship the heavenly mm -hmm. father mm -hmm. every god is gonna be put down you know what I'm saying? That's right. That's so that's right. the end goal of this thing, that everybody going to recognize the Father as being the creator mm -hmm. of all things. That's right. We're going to be like what Rahab said. We know about y'all. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, right, yeah, right, right. right huh? She was like, fuck my people. Yeah, I'll yeah, hide y'all right. asses. Yeah, yeah, right. Just make sure you spare me, though. Yeah. <laughs> and that's always how it is after the Lord sends out a judgment. When you go into it in history, for example, yeah. after Egypt was dismantled utterly, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you went into Rahab, those things of those Canaanites. Yeah. Like, when we was traveling around Jericho and circling around, they heard the reputation. Yeah. Yeah. And they knew what it was. And yeah. the Lord, even after it goes into his judgments, it's so many verses where it says, then they shall know that Yahweh had yeah, done this. Done this. Right, you know what I'm bro. saying? Like the brother right. said, don't say Molech, yeah. none of those other uh -huh. false gods, bro. It's going to be a clear indicator to show you the true God of heaven and earth exactly. that done this. Yeah. Did the Lord right. know about the judgment which he is giving? That's yeah. right. That's right, right bro. Hey, right. I'm, uh, I'm going to finish it. Back in Deuteronomy 32 and 2. My doctrine should drop as the rain. My speech should be still as the dew. It's the small rain upon the tender of earth. And it's the shower upon the grass because I would publish the name of the Lord wow. inscribe the greatness of our power. And that shows you the importance of constantly proclaiming the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh let Basically, we're letting the world know who's doing these things. That's right. It ain't because when you watch the news, they'll say Mother Nature or yeah, all that natural is. disaster. Nah, man. Yahweh Shem Yahweh brought them storms or floods or whatever the hell is going on, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's it's, it's Yahweh yeah. through his son Yahweh Shai. Yeah, cause bro, that's right. I, um, when you look in the etymology of the just the name or Shum, name it means reputation. That's right. That's right. It means reputation. Right. So mm -hmm. the Lord let you know what his reputation is. Right. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, man. So look, look, check it out. When I check out these other camps, bro, mm -hmm. certain these other camps that do use the name. They open up, hey, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh Shemel Shai. They said all extra fucking super fucking fast. Mm -hmm. After that, they Christ. they throwing around Christ. Christ. You know? And in there say Jesus sometimes. Right, that's right. Like, right. dude, yeah. what the what, they don't they 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 like using their cloak. I mean, they're using their um liberty and Yahweh Shai as a cloak of wickedness. That's right. Because they wanna they they that's that's traits of the house of Saul. They wanna please the people. Yeah. You know, you're right. talking this Christ shit. And it's Jesus shit, because you want to please the people. Yeah. And they'll tell you, well, nobody know what you have a shot. I mean, well, that's why you got to fucking explain it, man. Man. It's that simple. 
And, it's, and then when you explain it, it's not that hard, man. And then, and then it's, it's we late in the fucking game. Everybody, I mean, it's like the circle is the circle, you know? Yep. Of course, we got newcomers coming in, but they picking it up fast. Yeah. And they still part of the circle at the end of the day. Yeah, they still, yeah. Right. They don't need to be sitting there throwing away Christ no more. Fuck right, that. Right, Fuck right. that name. Exactly the shit behind. Real talk. <laughs> Why aren't you confident in the name, the true name of your power? Because you don't believe them. Yeah. Right. You, you know, I got a quick precept, mm -hmm. if I may, y'all. Mm -hmm. This is John 17 and 6. And this is a prayer that our Lord Yahweh Shai did, all right, before he was given up unto those Romans by those wicked niggas. Same niggas yeah. that we're talking about, too. Yeah. Okay? This is John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men Ooh. which thou gavest me out of the world. Man. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. Mm. Now, when you go into that, now, obviously, we know the Heavenly Father's name is Yahweh. Right. His son's name is Yahweh Shai. We mm -hmm. know that. But when you go into that, you don't think those Israelites back then that was persecuting Yahweh Shai didn't know the name Yahweh? Mm -hmm. The name Yahweh, that, that's the name of, of our God. Yeah. So when Yahweh Shai came on the scene and said, I have manifested thy name unto those that thou hast given me, you went to the point just a minute ago, mm -hmm. going into the word reputation. Yeah. When you go into the word Shem. Yeah. So when Yahweh Shai came on the scene, he really poured into them in a very intimate way the mm -hmm. true intentions of the Heavenly Father. Mm -hmm. Went into it in the history, talked to them, telling them that he was also there in the beginning, going into the importance of the Father and the Son. Right. But he always glorified his Father, yeah, gave always. credit and power unto That's him, right, bro. and went back into his ways, what he had done before, to show those men Man. that he's real. And part of that was tied to miracles, the doctrines, utterance. Yahweh Shai personified all of that, man. So it's a lot more than you just say, oh, Yahweh, now that's the key. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But there's a level of belief and expectation and a, a reputation that's tied to that name, man. Yep. You know, yep. and that's what moved us to fear to, to really be part of this thing and be down, yep. man. Mm -hmm. Because we thought about the reputation of the Heavenly Father because the name has been manifested unto us. That's why right. you have this circle right. that you have here today. Right. Because the true name, his reputation, has been manifested to us. And we believe that. Yeah, yeah that's why you know. Right. It tells you in Hebrews that even though everybody heard, everybody at this point, that's right. everybody that's in right. Israel done heard the name of the yeah. Father and His Son. Yeah, 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 bro. It tells you in Hebrews that it did no good to them because yeah, it, it wasn't mixed, mixed with faith. faith. It wasn't mixed with faith. The word preached wasn't mixed with faith. Right. They, didn't, they, they didn't believe. And if I could get this word, bro, for manifest, uh, can you read that one more time? Yeah, for sure. This is John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gave me out of the world. Right, I have manifested thy name, right? So the, the word for manifest is uh, for, for nettle, and it says to make manifest or visible or known what has been hidden mm. or unknown. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To manifest, whether by words, deeds, sure. or in any other way, mm -hmm. to make actual and visible, to realize, to make known by teaching. Mm -hmm. So what are we supposed to be doing? Man. To make, make known by teaching. We're supposed to make Woo. the name Yahweh yeah, Hashem known mm -hmm. by, mm -hmm. by the preaching, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, bro. You know? Yeah. I learned without a preacher. Mm -hmm. Right, it's, 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 exactly. That's why as soon as we open our videos up, every brother video, since I've been in the truth, the first thing is declared, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, you know, then the brother going this lesson. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. Check this one out. It says, to become known, to be plainly recognized <laughs> and thoroughly understood. <laughs> 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 yeah. it, says plainly, it says plainly recognized, showing you that it's, <laughs> it's going to be 100% truth. Right. 100%. You know what I'm saying? A hundred percent. It ain't no pieces to it that is yeah. plain. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. That's heavy, man. That's right, bro. Uh, That's uh, it right here. You got a hot boy? Yeah, I had some. Mm -hmm. This on uh, Acts 10. I'm going to read 40 and 41. Acts 10 and 40. The helm the most high raised up the third day and showed him openly, not to all the people, Ooh. but unto witnessing, mm -hmm. chosen before of the most high, even wow. to us. Who did eat and drink with him after he rose from the dead? Mm. Hey, go ahead, stop on the Say something. Hey, that's it. The Lord yeah. just opened, you know, the Lord then, when he rose from the dead, he didn't show himself open to everybody. That's yeah. why the other counts don't uh, yeah, they teach don't the name. Yeah. Or don't want to mm -hmm. push the names like that. Yeah, he don't want to show his name, you know, to to the left, basically. Right, bro. Right. 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 Man, yeah. just show him yeah. before God. That's the feet of the first chapter. Mm -hmm. We went over there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it's an election day. Right. Yeah, because this ain't given to everybody, man. 
Yeah. Yeah. The, the only the elect is gonna have it in its most purest form that we can have it right now. You know, right. so, good money, exactly. baby. Hey, right. sorry, baby. <laughs> you got some more. Yeah, I got one. Okay, yeah. This is the what? Seventeen to ten. In the lecture, yeah, praise right. His holy name. name. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Straight to the point on you. The lecture, praise His holy name. Man. And that name got power. I, I didn't use that name. We got man. some stuff. Yeah, man. Straight straight up. Up. You know. So that's something that was supposed to play out on the earth. The elect was going to constantly. How does it say it? They say the lecture, praise His holy name. That's something that's going to be playing out on the earth, man. Yeah. Through somebody. Mm -hmm. You know, through process of elimination. There's only a certain group of, of men and women that are praising the name Yahweh by Simeon That's right. And then the, it seemed like the rest of Israel, they just don't give a damn, bro. They, don't, they yeah. just don't give a big shit. Word, big, I don't give a right. damn. Right. They talk about Christ and Jesus with a hat on and, what the and fuck just a bunch of crazy on, shit, man. Up. But it, it's, it's, if I could get this, is that it right there? Bro? Yeah, I got man. one after you. Nah, bro. It's uh, John 15 and 1. It says, I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Mm -hmm. You know, and those branches that don't bear no fruit, basically, well, it's going to explain. It says, now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me and I in you. That's the thing. These guys that are not bearing fruit, they don't abide. In your house side, man. Yeah. You know, they're all about themselves and all that. their own belly. Mm -hmm. It says, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. Mm -hmm. I am the vine, you are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Mm -hmm. For with, without me, you can do nothing, man. Mm. Right, bro. You know, right. so you got to be connected. In order to to fulfill the elect shall praise his name, in order to do these things, you got to be connected to the vine. That's, That's right, bro. Yeah. The body. Yeah. Yeah. To the body. Yeah. And then John told uh, the wicked scribe and Pharisees that you got to bring forth fruit, uh, meat, meat for repentance. Because right. mm -hmm. so, a lot of these guys got big following and gathering. Right. That don't mean nothing. You so got to have a bag full of right. rotten ass fruit. Right, That's right. You know, and then amongst that fruit, the Heavenly Father didn't have that mold get on the good apples because we, we always say that it, it, may, it may be elect amongst these groups. The Lord going to take them right out there. I don't work a miracle off it for them. Yeah, straight up. Because really they're in a good. spell. They're in a mm -hmm. zombie mold type. And then a lot, a lot of them too, man, you know, because when you first come in, you keep in order. And that's, a, that's an honorable thing to do. So it's kind of like they're new, they're fresh, they kind of mm -hmm. quite don't understand mm -hmm. what their deafness is, right. mm -hmm. and they're keeping order. But at the same time, the Lord is um, tottering their mind, like, look, this ain't it. That's right. But they're keeping order right now. But it's going to come to that point, the Lord going to get their ass out of there. Mm -hmm. You know? Like this, uh, when you was reading 15, mm -hmm. and why they can't abide, I was at 14. That's it's uh, when you read 14 and uh, 17, it says, even the spirit of truth. Whom the world cannot receive mm. because it seems when you go not. when you go into that word world, I, I bet you it's a uh, cosmos. Cosmos, cosmos. Yeah. 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 you know it's cosmos, mm -hmm. yeah. which is a uh, Israel. Yeah, because uh, it tells you what has Israel not a uh, not um, received what they've been uh, yeah. Romans. Yeah, it's yeah. Romans. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it tells you the elect yeah. has obtained it and the rest were blinded. Right, Israel yeah. 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 obtained that what he's seeking. Right, yeah. which is which Jake is seeking a a correct relationship with with the heavenly Father, right, right, and right. His Son, right. but not everybody has obtained that right relationship with with the Lord except the elect, man. That's yeah. right, that's yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, when you go into that word blinded, that word is hypnos, which means they're literally cast under a spell of witchcraft. They yeah. out here, man. Hypnosis. Hypnosis. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then it's from the left hand of the Lord still, so it's still yeah. it's doing. Yeah. Right. Why well, Jake's asleep? Yeah, yeah. 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 That's right. right. It's just neither the knowledge of him. That's why they don't be calling on the name. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. knowledge. Yeah. It says, uh, but but ye know him. <laughs> we, wow. we know him. Like you said, that's why we always right. give all praise and we yeah, right. begin. And we stay with that. We don't jump to Jesus. We don't jump to none of that. Right. Right. Jehovah right. Jireh, yeah. none of that. It's yeah. just like, real quick, before you keep the team reading, you watching, I'll be watching the Spanish channel, and they'll be, you know, speaking at, but then they'll be talking about, like, a, say they talk about sports. But they talking about it's a Jake and his his name is in English. Yeah. 
They don't say his. They don't right. translate right. his right. name right. in Spanish. Yeah. They have like, blah, 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 blah. just say if his name was John Mike, Doe, Michael, and then they'll go back to Spanish, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's how we do it. You going you gonna have to learn how to say the name of the Lord. Yeah, if they, if they talking about <laughs> even like if they want to say George Bush, yeah, they're not gonna say Jorge Bush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're gonna say George Bush. Right. Yeah, they're gonna. And then they're gonna with go the back. accent, and yeah. then they're gonna go back. Yeah, you know. That's how we're gonna stick. Like his brother said, we're gonna stick to it. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Go out and we talk in English. Go into the Hebrew because the, the Lord's name is Hebrew, right. and yeah. go right back to the English. Right. Right. Because there's a reputation attached to that. Absolutely. Yeah. There's a whole Absolutely. legacy and reputation attached to the name. Yeah. That's it, bro. Yeah. And a lot of people think that, you know, because they'll look at Greg Millstone and say the Hebrew doctrine, Hebrew doctrine. It's not even a whole doctrine. We speak English in these lessons in Spanish in these shows. But when it comes to the name of the Heavenly Father that you supposedly serve and his beloved son, you want to make sure that you get that right. Yeah. If you don't got anything right, you want to make sure that you got that right. Because if you got that right and believe it in sincerity, everything else is going to follow afterwards. Mm -hmm. You know, but again, it shows you these guys don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Sure. They're not confident in those names. They don't believe. They are. They, they do not know you how to shot. Right. They got marching orders. Right. Yes. And he, he uh, show, show himself to it. That's right. it. That's it. That's, that's why they need is, more. Yeah, they, 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 need, they need fucking uh, bulletproof vests and they need, it, they need guns. They need gimmicks. They need music because <laughs> right. the Lord's not enough. Right. That's right, bro. Yeah, we got you know bodyguard. Yeah. Yeah. Bodyguard. Yeah. Large, you know. Uh, you brought up a good point on what we was having a conversation a while back and um you know a lot of these guys with the gimmicks that we're talking about today that westernized israelite way yeah you know what i'm saying how is that going to be appealing to those that that believe that are in the middle east that are getting trying to try to move right that's now great. they're that's, not going to believe that's a super solid point it's, you know what i'm saying they'll get turned off they're, they'll get turned off yeah Havashai's message is is going to be delivered to the elect no matter where they are right. and it's a way that it's going to be delivered man yeah. and the way that a lot of these guys are delivering their so-called message cannot cater to these people they, they can't relate to it man. man even um you you don't even got to go to the middle east it could be an older judite man that's that right. just fucking hates rap mm -hmm. just hates it and that can Cause them to not want to believe just because you niggas are dancing around and acting like monkeys, just like rap niggas. Man. That's See, me. that's a, that's a nigga's mind who's trapped in his bullshit ass mm -hmm. America. His mind don't go outside of America. He ain't thinking on a grand yeah. scale of things. He don't right. give a shit about the elect. When Paul said mm -hmm. that what he do, he do for the elect's mm -hmm. sake, man. Mm -hmm. Right, bro. He do all things. He do all things. Said he became all things for all men. That's right, brother. Oh, crazy. Yeah. Right, all things for all men. Uh, it says. But ye know him, for he dwelleth with you, mm. and well, shall be in you. Mm. I will not leave you comfortless. I will mm. come to you. That's right. Man, That's and, right. and the Lord, he came to us through the Holy Spirit, but also through this book, through this That's Bible. Right. He'll, he communicates with us, man. So the scriptures say that uh, in Revelations, it says that he'll come and sup with us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Meaning he was going to come and build us up in the spirit, man. Yeah. It's, a, it's like a personal yeah. friendship mm -hmm. or, or relationship. Yeah, thing, like, man. like like right now, bitch ass E, right? He's um he's trying to get that, that damn nanotechnology and everybody. Mm -hmm. But he knows that we're electrical beings. You know, so basically once he get that shit in you, he you're like an antenna to where he could from his computer tap in whatever you want to tap in and control you. That's cause that's the ultimate what he's trying to do, control you. You know what I'm saying? But the Heavenly Father does that with us. Right. He does that. We're antennas on the planet Earth. And the Heavenly Father streams from the heavens. That's, That's what the right. word influence means. Mm -hmm. right. Like it right. says, a pure influence uh, uh, in the Apocrypha. Mm -hmm. Where the Heavenly Father mm -hmm. streams from the heaven to, right. to, to us. And we're the antenna. You know? Mm -hmm. So the Heavenly Father placed that in us. So when you read and you study and you, and you, uh, you read and you study and you go from precept to precept and then all of a sudden, something popping in your head out of nowhere. Bing! Oh, shit. Oh, That's the Lord literally streaming from the heaven. That's right. And tapping it right in your spirit. I got a Joe. on that. Nah, nah I, I didn't have to. I had Ezekiel, but you okay. got, you got yeah. it. I'll bring this up. Real, I'll just get the point, though. 2 Peter 1 and 21. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, mm -hmm. but holy men of Yahweh by Simeon Shai spake. As they were moved by the Holy Spirit. Woo! They was like Let's look saying. the word move up. Let's see what it said when moved. That's first Peter. What chapter again? Uh second Peter second one, Peter one. And that was in twenty first verse. And and they was moved. So they were they were um inspired. It was like an impulse. Yeah. 
Yep. It was like, yep. uh, you know, if you ever had that adrenaline rush, like, you feel like you can run your fucking fastest, you can jump your fucking highest at that point. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that, man. The Lord moved on them men. All of a sudden, their their hearts was filled with understanding to write something down, Absolutely. something that they even may even understand, have not understood. But the Lord moved them like that. Look at the account with Ezra. I was really thinking that when he, the, the when he jumped that fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was thinking that as I was saying that. I was like, damn, that's Ezra. Man, <laughs> that's the impulse. Man. Yeah. That influence he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. The Lord living in you. He said, I'll, I'll live in you. Like yeah. he said, he give you that. Every uh, mm -hmm. give you the answers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's the Lord living in you. Yeah, living in you. Yeah, yeah well, that's <laughs> dope, bro. Lord, you can live here and shit. It doesn't really get much. <laughs> yeah, shit, go ahead. Kick your feet up, shit. You a key. Yeah, you a key. Yeah, you yeah, know. Key under the door, man, when you coming yeah, through. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, and I'm just, because you're reading that first Peter 1, like, even before that, Peter, Peter is going into the testimony when they was on that mount during the transfiguration. Right, right. When the Lord communicated with them and that came down from that chariot right, from the right, heavens, man. Right, right. You know, and they and they literally were, were up there. That that was a really close connection. Right. You know, like for example, if it's a if it's a um, a router mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right there, you know what I'm saying, you might be able to be outside and you still get service. Right. right. But as soon as you go into that house and sit next to it, the, the what does it do? It only strengthens the signal. Yeah. yeah. So that was a very strong signal going Whoa. into what Peter's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But he's going into that account, you know what I'm saying, when they was when they was on that mountain and received yeah, that revelation. That's yeah, that's right, right there, because when, when the chair is coming in, that is going to be so strong. My God, 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 God. Yeah, yeah, bro. That's it, bro. That's heavy right there. Well, bro's your spiritual power, bro. You know what I'm saying? The angels yeah. have a lot of influence on that, man. Chair is flying by. You know, hey, when so lock it down with this, just, mm -hmm. just real quick, even when you read it in the Acts, the second chapter, okay. going into when they was in uh, when they was in the upper room, you know what I'm saying? It was, you know what I'm saying? It was a really strong signal. Them fires came down. You yeah. started speaking in tongues, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That was a straight up personal, intimate influence that was happening right there. You know? Mm -hmm. You got it, bro. Uh, there wasn't really much to the word moved, but it says, uh, they do it. Pharaoh. Okay. Uh, and it says, uh, they don't got like a figurative sense. Um, they do, I think. No, no, cool. it actually it doesn't. Well, it just says to carry, to Look, to be moved inwardly, to be moved inwardly, mm. prompted uh -huh. of, of the mind. Yeah, of the mind. See, you know, also so the spirit is. Yeah, yep. yeah that's up in Job. What's that? Job thirty-two and um, Job thirty-two and eight. Divine influence. Yeah, like yeah. something like streaming. I'll see if I can grab mm. it real mm -hmm. fast if the spirit don't pass. For sure. <clears throat> Let me see. Job thirty-two and eight. It says, "But there is a spirit in man." And the inspiration wow. of the Almighty giveth them understanding. That's it. Wow. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Inspiration means to breathe into something. Mm -hmm. Right. So the Lord literally, breath, talking to breath is the same thing. He okay. talks it from the heaven. That shit comes all the way to your mind through the angel and all That's of right. that. That's right. That's right. You know, it's man. like a whole little freaking, man, if you could see the spiritual realm, man. Yeah. Real yeah. talk. I got yeah. a, a yeah. prerequisite to that. It's Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of Yahweh by Sim Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge. Mm. So that's the, before the Lord will give you that breath and, and deal with you like that, you got to fear him. Mm -hmm. that's it. You know, and that's, that's what Jake completely lacks out there, man. Yeah. It's just, they just act off mm -hmm. impulse. They're not impulsed by the Holy Spirit. They're right, fucking yeah. impulse of this world, man. Yeah. yeah. You know? Hey, real quick, I, real, just, I just want to read an NLT. Before it's oh, heck yeah. Let me read that same verse in the NLT in Job 32 yeah. and 8. It says, but there is a spirit within people. Well, right. Regardless, but there is a spirit within people, the breath of the Almighty within them that makes them intelligent. Wow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. But yeah, go ahead. Would you get a move? Did you? Uh, yeah, I read it. Uh, was you on the, well, you had the Strong's? Yeah. yeah. The, the, there, the there says uh, to carry some burdens. Woo. Carry some burdens. Yeah, yeah, carry some burdens. Right. Damn, when you go into the beginning of the books of the prophets, certain of them says the burden, burden of this man, yeah. Yeah. the burden of that man. Yeah. But again, go into the Bible. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They were moved to, to prophesy, man. Right, right. And that's the breath at the end yeah, of the day, the spirit right. of prophecy. Oh, and it takes sacrifice. That's right. Because those men had to sacrifice everything they could have ever possibly man. wanted right. in order to carry that. 
and 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 delivery. <laughs> they knew they you was know? gonna catch some hell too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that's why Jonah was like, "Shit." What you saying? And Habakkuk it says, uh, and "Let him run." Uh, the one that uh, yeah, it, it says, um, "I have, yeah." It says he that he um, he, he run. He let him run that read it. Pretty much. Let him run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got you got to get this message and, yeah. and run it, man. Just, right. Just like in a battlefield, if you had a message to bring back to the camp, yeah, you, gotta, you send the fastest bro, dude. You don't yeah. stop. You yeah, don't stop. You're supposed to stop. Right. Well, that, that's the, the the history of our messengers back then. They were actually supposed to be very fast. Yeah. You know, even in Job 9 and 25, it says, my days are swifter than a post. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? When you go into that post, that post was a messenger. Oh, you know, and he had to have that ability yeah. to move real quick. Mm-hmm. It even makes me think about Eliza because he was a prophet, a messenger. And How he, fast he yeah, was! He I ran that horse. Mm-hmm. And that make, makes me think about the angels. Like we were talking yeah. about the angels. Wow! Quick. Mm-hmm. Quick as soon as the Lord give an order, boom! Wow! Yeah. Messenger immediately. Then, mm-hmm. so we're all playing that role out to a degree. The only difference with us and the angels, it's a burden with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to worry about somebody throwing a shoe at the back of your head. Yeah. Yeah. Way, yeah. Tripping you. That's yeah. the yeah. Bless it, man. Bless. Bless. Yeah. Straight yeah. up. Straight Second up, definition bro. of it, it says to bear, i.e. endure, to endure rigor of a thing, to man. bear patiently one conduct, or spare one, abstain from punishment or being destroyed. Mm. Woo! Yeah. Right? Heavy. Wow. So this, this way, they say when they were moved by the Holy Spirit, man, that was the point where they had to do it. Because destruction was coming, they, it's the only thing they can do not to be destroyed. Yeah. So you know, that's why we're doing it. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Woe to me about preaching not the gospel. Yeah. That's, yeah. It. that's, that's it. it. That's it. You know? I ain't right. trying to be destroyed, you no know, Lord willing. That's shit. Right. Hey, that's why Habakkuk said, um, I, have heard this, I have heard the speech of the Lord and was afraid. Mm-hmm. Loosely paraphrasing, that goes into that burden. That fear of the Lord moved Habakkuk to write that vision and make it plain upon those tables. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This, that the fear of the Lord is going to be the driving force. That's the conclusion of the matter at the end of the day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you don't fear the Lord, you don't have faith, you don't have vision, none of that stuff. The fear of the Lord drove every single last one of us to do this because yeah. we heard Babylon being destroyed, nukes, wild beasts with teeth to tear, all these things. What? Shit. No smoke with the heavenly father. Mm-hmm. Jacob Trump. He said, what? Jacob Trump. That's yeah, right. Jacob Trump. Fucking bitch ass E. This nigga got technology out this goddamn world and he Man. Can use that shit. Yeah, that's right. He's been authorized to use. That's right. <laughs> 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 Most like granted, this nigga for permission, man. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Isaiah yeah. ten five and six. You don't got the sword in vain. Yeah. 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 You gonna use it? I got you know some things that made a move so that makes us move like them. When 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 the Lord is showing, He's showing us foreshadows of what's gonna come. Right. He's mm-hmm. showing you the scriptures. Hey, I'm finna uh, I'm finna bring a, a fervent heat through here. It's gonna kill all the elements. You think that's everything? That's foreshadow. That's enough to make you move and do what he right. wants you to do. That's yeah. right. Just like when we were kids growing up, you know, if you fucked up, you got that whooping, yeah. and you knew it was coming. The anticipation of it was worse. Yeah, like, you see what I'm that's saying? Right. Yeah. So that's part of that. Uh, when they was moved because hey, they was getting them visions. What the Lord say? When deep sleep fall upon me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, yeah. I, I put the instructions. Nice. You start showing you showing you certain things. Right. Brothers are having those. Uh, uh, Dreams now of, of end time. Uh, even some sisters, mm-hmm. they have these visions. So that makes us, we hear it, we say, hey, we got to move. We got yeah, yeah, to right. mm-hmm. keep pushing mm-hmm. quick. Yeah, right. gotta keep pushing more and more. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Man, I got a quick precept Whatever. for a statement you just said a minute ago kind of going into how this devil has been given the authority. He's been authorized yeah. to move the way he is. Mm-hmm. This is Micah chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Mm-hmm. It says, that's Esau. Man. That's Esau. Yeah. This mm-hmm. whole situation, yes. that's what's going on. He's, he's, he, what does it say? Devising iniquity and, mm-hmm. and... It says, devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. Right. So this really, this this is all they could think about, man, is how to further the this this agenda of theirs. Mm-hmm. And we can see they're at work. That's right. Yeah, that's why mm-hmm. I fear of the Lord right now is it needs, it's it's mandatory. Man. It always was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But this one needs to be Push because there's a lot of new mm-hmm. people coming into the truth, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and, and they don't know how to be humble. Which being humble means you're, you basically you got to catch hell, man. You got to right. you're gonna suffer. Yeah, you're gonna have to go through it then and take them arrows. Right. They don't know how to please the Lord. Well, yeah. you got to fear. You got to walk. The scriptures say, work out your salvation with fear and trembling. Fear and trembling. Right. That's right. how you do it, man. Yeah. But this, but these are the things that need to be 
being pushed because there's a lot of new Jakes coming into this thing right now, man. Just like it was prophesied. That's yeah. right. Yeah. It was prophesied that at the end, the, a lot of Jakes were going to come yeah, in, man. That's right. You know, that's so right. the Lord, he set up faithful and responsible shepherds yeah. that mm -hmm. take care of the sheep. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and the sheep that, that eat from this truth, man, they're not scared of Esau, man. Mm -hmm. Right. See, that's one. We're, we're, we're afraid of, we fear Yahweh Sim Yahweh and what he's doing. Yeah. Because we came to understand that Esau ain't in control of yeah, nothing, yeah. man. The Lord control this dude. That's he's it. a pawn. He's a he's a clown, man. That's he's it. a fucking you joke. Know? That's it. He's the basis of man like Daniel. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and if I may add to, to those beautiful points, you know, um, just, just adding to that, another reason why we ain't supposed to fear, obviously, is trust. Yeah. Okay? But when you also even look at us just as a nation, look at the God we serve. He's called the Lord of hosts. Yeah. He's a man of glory. Um, Man. When you look at soldiers, soldiers ain't supposed to be fearful hearted of the what ifs right. and the possibilities. Mm -hmm. Their right. main goal is the objective that's at hand. That's, right, that's why it's written up in Second Timothy, the second chapter, if any man worth, let him not, you know, be entangled with the affairs of his life. Mm -hmm. All right, and part of that is Esau, Edom, and his the, the, the vision and the plan, what he's about to do, you ain't gonna worry about that stuff, mm -hmm. man. All right. Mm -hmm. When you go into that spirit, because we were going into the spirit and part of it's going into prophecy. But, one, you know, one of the definitions for spirit as well is going into warlike energy. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? So it's an ancient warlike soldier-like mind that you have to have to be able to carry the burdens that our fathers carried back yeah. then. And we're doing it right now. It takes a different type of manly spirit to be on you to be able to bear this burden, man. Right. Mm -hmm. We was just, the spirit was revealing to us. The burden of Jacob, all this shit. Oh, yeah, 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 but he had a super high position. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's King David in the reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a crucial forefather there, so it mm -hmm. makes sense. Yeah. And he got he caught he caught a lot of fucking hell, man, back mm -hmm. to back. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you said a soldier, a soldier, uh, uh, like you said, they carry burdens. But one thing a soldier does, well, he he don't question the orders that have been right. given to him. Yeah. He trusts yeah. that the higher ups have the knowledge to tell him go that way and do that, and he go perform it. So that's why we say that's trust right. to the Lord. We gotta that's trust right. that this that's is right. it. And that's why we move. We don't question. Right. The people who call question, it, guess what? Y'all the one study how to Jesus because he questioned this man. That's oh, yeah, James. James. That's, that's, about that's, them. that's the trait of the serpent, you know. Yeah. Like when he said, uh, "Thou shalt not surely die." Yeah, I was questioning the Lord. Exactly. Yeah. Like, man, yeah. is he lying? <laughs> yeah. You know, <laughs> being double-minded, double-minded yeah. man is and stays in all his ways. ways. Yeah. You know, double-minded yeah. is questioning. Paul yeah. said, well, and I know you hold your precept right now. Yeah, finish, bro. Paul, Paul even said, you know, care for nothing. You know what I'm saying? But make thy request known mm -hmm. unto me. Yeah. And that goes into trust. But before, you know what I'm saying, what comes with that trust, you can't worry about the affairs of this life. Yeah. You can't worry about the endless possibilities, man. You can't worry about the death and the doom and gloom that's going to come. All right? Your main objective should be salvation. That's right. right. How are you going to be right. saved? That's 2nd right. Ezra 9 and 13. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about how the wicked going to be punished. Don't worry about the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? But worry about the righteous and how they're going to be saved, right? Because yeah. that's trust right. you. That's right, and that fear is going to be the root stem. Man. It's the stem of the root to make you believe that you're going to be saved. Because what does it say? Psalm 34 and 7. Yep. The angel of the Lord yep. encamped around about them that fear him. Mm -hmm. yep. You know what I'm saying? That's right, that's right. You got yeah. Yeah, the finish, finish that pretty much the spirit passed on because, you know, we went right to, you know, because it's going into Esau. You okay, know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, uh, this on uh, Wisdom of Solomon 17 and 12. Mm -hmm. Fulfilled is nothing else but a betraying of the circles yep. which reason of offer. Mm -hmm. You know, like you feel you like you betraying your average no child. Yes, so it's right. right. going right. to your aid, your right. help. Right. 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 And that right. help right. come from heaven, which is right. your average no child. Yeah. Okay. We say he's not giving up the, um, the power of feel, but spirit of the sound of mind. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 And when you read about the the second death and the lake of fire, it, it lists a bunch of a bunch of different type of people that are going to be thrown in there. And the mm -hmm. first one on the list was the fearful. Yeah. Which basically means, because we all feel, because right, right. in the flesh you're going to feel like jolted sometimes or, but that's not, that's not basically the fear that that's talking about. It's talking about being a coward, man. Mm -hmm. Going out like a fucking coward. Those are the fearful that are going to be thrown into that yeah. lake. Because a coward is somebody who can ain't trust in the Lord, that he can do mm -hmm. it, he can right. get it done. He when doubted. They, yeah. When they tell you when was that Luke, I believe one, in like sixty eight, it said nothing is impossible with the heavenly father. Right, right, right. You know, so if you if you if you are fearful in a fashion of 
not believing that the Lord could deliver you, you a fucking, in other words, you a coward. Because yeah. it said coward in NLT, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah that's, it, yeah, that's it true. It said, but cowards. Wow. <laughs> there you go. I got can you get that real quick? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I read it real quick. Uh, Revelation 21 and 8, it says, But the fearful and the unbelieving and, and abominable and murderers and whoremongers. Can you, can you, can you start at uh, 7? Mm. In verse 7, Revelation 21, it says, He that overcometh shall inherit all things, and I will be his power, and he shall be my son. Man, and he that overcometh, you know, he that overcometh what? Jacob's trouble. Because there's people that say that Jacob's trouble ain't going to happen. But he that overcometh. Jacob's trouble and all these yeah. afflictions that are coming, man, because we're about to go into a situation where we can't go to the grocery store and yeah. a bunch of crazy shit we're about to go through as as a people, man, but yeah. we're supposed to overcome it through faith. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, because it tells you that uh, in uh, Revelation 12 that that uh, it speaks about the serpent and Satan and, and uh, the devil, mm -hmm. but then it tells you that they overcame they overcame him through the blood, blood of the Lamb and through the testimony, the which, they held. which right. is this word. That's right. This is what's going to keep us alive in these times, man. This is what is going to keep us fed in the spirit That's right. and not in a cowardly state of mind. That's the importance That's right. of constantly listening to these videos, studying, and building your faith, though. Building your faith, up. belief up. Exactly. Right. And, um, I got a quick precept, too, mm -hmm. just to add to that point. Because we brought it up earlier, going into his reputation. That's right. If you believe in his name, it's already been manifested to us right. clearly. You know what I'm saying? Plainly. Yeah, so if you believe in that reputation truly, you got nothing to worry about. You're going to catch the hell, obviously, but you got nothing to worry about. Right. That fearful heart as we're going into. Because it says it in Sarah, the second chapter. Has any has any trust in the Lord and were confounded? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Now, I'm in Sirach 2, but I'm going to go a little further because this is going into the point we're talking about. This is Sirach 2 and 12. It says, matter of fact, I'm going to start at 11. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth in the time of affliction. Wow. Verse 12. And it's going right after to him, save in the time of affliction. Right. But check this out. Woe be to the fearful hearts <laughs> and faint hands and the Woe. sinner that goeth two ways. Woe be to cowards. I was just going to say that. Woe to the cowards. And double-minded yeah. And never niggas. minded niggas. Yeah. You know, because again, it's what David had instances where he feared. You know what I'm saying? Men had instances, your house shot was sweating bullets. Yeah, they come yeah, from those. That's, that's normal with that. That's right. But that's they weren't cowards, man. That, that's that's it. Know? That's it. It's so the separation between the two because yeah. he stepped into it in a very courageous fashion yeah. and took his lashes and took his punishments, man, knowing the Lord was going to resurrect him from the dead. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, the yeah. same thing applies to us spiritually. Whatever situation that it is, the scripture says we die all the day long. Oh, yeah. But through your Havashai, he had. Through Yahavashah, we have the resurrection, man. Mm -hmm. And we need to have, we like clearly set in our mind, we talk about this often, brother, yeah. salvation on the forefront. Have it set on your mind if one, if one of the brothers gets put to death, man, the Lord can raise that brother up right there at the spot. Right. Right. That was the mindset Abraham had, man. Mm -hmm. right. You know, when he had to sacrifice Isaac, he believed when he read it in Hebrews that Isaac was going to be resurrected from the dead. Right. This is a type of trust assurance that we have to have toward our power in this day, man. Right. Because, you know, we're required. That's right, bro. It says in the second Ezra 2 and 26, it, it, it goes loosely paraphrasing. He's talking to Ezra. He says, and those of thy number, you know, say that they shall be quiet in that day. Yeah. They shall be re re required yeah. in that day. Right. So you're set aside for a certain purpose to glorify his name right. in a certain way that he has it designed for you to do it. Yeah. But you're going to have to go through that affliction and that hell in order to do it in that measurement that he had yeah. given unto you. Which, right. which, when you go through the affliction and the hell, it makes you, basically you feel weak as hell, you're, you're lonely. Right. You're but but the scriptures will tell you that the Lord's power could be, the Lord's power is more more so magnified yeah. than something that's weak yeah. and, and yeah. lowly like that, man. Yeah. And right. That's what Paul said. That's what he said, yeah. and when he was speaking weakness, about the thorn. Weakness, I am made strong. That's right. right. You saying all that? Yeah. Yep. That's right. Because that's how that's how the Lord is able to manifest His power. Exactly. That's right. You when you're through. In other right. words, exactly. He can pick you up, and then you can praise Him. Yeah. That's right. Hey, look at you. Everybody will praise Him. Yeah. That's, that's right. right. Everybody, everybody around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like they did when uh, uh it's like, no, no, no. You, when, uh, you used to bring your point out. Kind of, kind of. Yep, yep. Um, when Yahweh shot heal certain dudes. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, people around praise the Lord for it. That's right. You know, but yeah, that was it. Go ahead. Come on. <laughs> hey, look at Jacob, our forefather. He got the name Israel after he was his 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 
leg was he had that Bo, that, that Bo Jackson yeah. injury, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And he was still holding on, and he said, "You gonna bless me?" Yeah. And what it, what was his name? It was his name changed with Israel. He was the prince of the power, mm-hmm. and that was tied to his strength. That's right. So that's part of all of our story to be in a weakened state in order to exude the right. true strength of the Lord. Because the source and the nucleus of that strength is keeping your joy that's right. while you're in that. That's, right. that's why you read it in Nehemiah 8 chapter. It says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Mm-hmm. You know, so you keep that joy in the level Man. of you being humbled and mm-hmm. going through these and afflicted. Right. You keep that joy. That's showing trust. Right. And yeah. that you ain't even worried about the world because your eye is so single. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're focused on the goal. That's right. You know what yeah. I mean? Hey, what, what Bruce Lee say? He said, um, he said, um, he don't desire to have a well, I go uh he don't desire to have a good life, but he desires to make it through a hard one. Mm. Uh, he don't he don't pray for his life to be easy, but to be given the strength to, to endure, endure a hard one. one. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's what he said. He said, Hey, I got this real quick though, because it's a commandment to be to believe in the Lord and to be courageous. It's a it's actually a commandment. Oh, yeah. And it was told to Joshua. Yep. This uh Joshua one and nine. It says, have I not, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, right. be not and afraid. Even, even though he was speaking to Joshua, he, yeah. this is opened up to all of us now. Yeah, right? that's all, yeah. On a personal level. Yeah, 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 yeah. It says, uh, have I not commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage, be not afraid, neither be ye dismayed. For the Lord thy power is with thee, whether so whether thou goest. Mm-hmm. And remember during this time, the 12 spies was sent out and they did opposite of being courageous Absolutely. or believing that the Lord could do something. Scared. And what the Lord do to them guys? Mm-hmm. Got rid of them. That's right. That's you right. know, got rid of ten of the twelve spies. Mm-hmm. So it, it's like, you know, the flesh kick in and all that, but the back of your mind, the the singleness of the eye, that's the goal. Right. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's just like and we was talking about this before we came in Bunsa Pot House. Mm-hmm. Um I believe we was doing that, but uh remember we was we was talking about how oh no it was on the airplane. Um, Mike Tyson had said before he got into a, a yeah, ring, he, he feels nervous. He uh, feels nervous. He's like he's scared. He scared. He says, I get scared. I feel scared to death. Something like yeah, that. Yeah, he said he's super mm. scared. Like he'd be like, "Fuck." He said that same fear though. He transferred that into that. That's the reason why he can't lose. Yeah, he right. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's cold, bro. That's so cold. it shows you if he he kicking everybody ass. I mean that that scariness, that real fear he had. That was some serious ass fear, but he transferred it, and it was it was a charm for him. It came strength. Straight up, man. Look mm-hmm. back, look back there. Psalms twenty-seven and one. The Lord Yahweh is my light and my salvation. Whom I shall fear? Question. Mm-hmm. The Lord is the strength of my life, and whom I I be afraid? Question. Mm-hmm. When the wicked, even my enemy and my foes, came upon me to eat. Up my flesh, they stumble and fail. Mm. Though an host shall encamp against me, mm. my heart shall not fear. So that that right there is an example of an impossible situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, a whole yeah. army yeah. circled you, and you just there. Man. Well, it's just you. Like, so you're through, basically. Yeah, yeah. You, mm. yeah. Your flesh will at least stand up. I'm yeah. done. Yeah. All right. <laughs> it says, Though war shall rise against me. In this will I be confident. Wow. You know what's unique about that too? With faith, confident. Hey, right. bro. Hey, dude, yeah. hey, this brother, the brother Juan de Zaka de Kent, he used to play. Um, he used to play basketball, but he'll always tell us that he'll be nervous as fuck before he go on that court. But he transferred that energy and will mm. kill the motherfucking kill the yeah. game. Yeah, that's what's up. But yeah, go ahead, go ahead. God, God. God. damn. God, I was going to say the unique thing about this because we went into it earlier, how Yahweh fulfilled the law, he fulfilled the Psalms, all these things. Now, there wasn't necessarily, now, Yahweh was bruised and he was afflicted, mm-hmm. but, you know, he wasn't surrounded by a whole host that wanted to come at him. Right. That's going to apply to a lot of us when this, when that time comes, when the enemy mm-hmm. comes past us like a, mm-hmm. like a flood. Mm-hmm. Right? You know what I'm saying? Because we went into how, as Yahweh fulfilled the law, right. we're also going to have to fulfill these things. Right. So we read this as encouragement. To build us up in our faith right. and our trust. Right. By the time that happens, when you are compassed about with a, yeah. with a, with a, with a by a host, yeah. the Lord will lift that standard up, man. Yeah. He's going to lift yeah. up that standard because these things need to play themselves out. You need, if you're of the elect, it needs to play out that you got encompassed around by that's it by yeah. enemies. Yeah, it. it needs to play out in order for the miracle to play out. Mm-hmm. But yeah. somebody needs to be the sacrifice. That's yeah. it. That's it. Guess who else was afraid? Mm-hmm. 
Remember Elisha and the servant. The mm-hmm. servant was afraid. Yes, it's, like, yeah. Look, yeah. it's more around yeah. us than yeah. exactly. the deal is when they kept them by us. The Lord showed them the fourth dimension and showed them the chariots. That's Man. right. So, Even cool. show you that in that movie with uh, Will Smith's son, um, After Earth. Yeah. Yes. Remember the beast could sense the fear. Yep. But, you know, jumping all the way to the end of the movie, the son, uh, Will Smith's son, he was scared of his. Remember, he was running for his fucking life. Yeah. And then he finally had to face that motherfucker. And when he finally faced the beast, he finally faced his fear. Yeah. And he transferred that same um, fear into strength and fucking mm-hmm. slayed the beast. That's yeah. right. The yeah. uh, first Corinthians 10 and 13, they had no temptation taking you, but such as coming to man. Mm-hmm. But you have us on side is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above yeah. that you are able. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah that's comforting. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. So nothing is ever going to be above your 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 strength. What you can handle, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Everything is going to be fair. Yeah, because mm-hmm. it's a if the Lord is testing you to to prove you, it's not He's not doing it to destroy you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So whatever He put on you, it just is it's just to prove you. It's not to kill you off. Right. Right. It tells you uh you in a uh, Sirach two. Mm-hmm. That uh, acceptable men are tried yes. in that yes. furnace yes. of fire, or the yes. furnace of affliction. Yeah. Yes. I mean, me think if you do die from some of the Lord, you you know you ain't right with the Lord. That's because He put something over you on you too hard. You can't handle because He want to kill you, man. Yeah, if you die, because like you wicked, right? You know, right? You know, right. You know? Uh, I would uh, say uh, the word furnace is going to uh, flame of love. Right. Ooh. So you don't know, chat those with whom you love. Mm-hmm. Right. right. Interesting. Right. Interesting. Right. Even on um, even Egypt. The Ebo of Egypt was known as the, uh, it was a furnace. Uh, you know, you can read it in 1 Kings, the 8th chapter. Yeah. Solomon was doing that prayer, and it's also in right. Exodus. You know what I'm talking about? The furnace. He, it, I, it's iron something. Furnace? The, the iron furnace. Yeah, the iron furnace. The water, yeah. that's the Ebo of Egypt. So it's showing you the state that we're in, captivity. Yeah, we're going to be in that iron furnace and yeah. have to endure certain things, yeah. man. You yeah. know, that's part of our trial. Right. But I got to put, oh, did you have more on that? I'm going to finish it. Okay. Uh, it said, but with the temptation also make a way to escape that mm. ye may be able to build. Boom. Woo! Always a way to escape. Oh, the right. That's it. So we can so endure it. it. Yeah, we can endure it. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah, because like we said, just going back to a trial. Once you pass the test, we'll get him out of there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and get him. Yep. Like that movie Kingsman. Yep. Y'all remember the first yeah. one? He was yep. tied to the railroad track. Oh, yeah. And that dude was like, uh-huh. tell me the who, who you yeah, work yeah. for. Mm-hmm. And that train coming. He like, man, fuck you niggas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right when that train came, yeah. the thing lowered, and he was right. good. Man, it was good. But it was that tr- uh, like we're going into a yeah. trial period. You're staring down that. But you protect. The whole time. Right, right. Nowadays, mm-hmm. he, he was asking him, uh, tell me who you work for, but right now it's deny Yahweh's name. Yeah. Outside. Deny his name. Mm-hmm. And a lot of niggas already didn't even, they didn't even see no train. Right. Mm-hmm. They did it quick. They, they, quit, they already man. did it. Rolled that sleeve off the train. Right. Oh, oh, train. Shit, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> they heard the train in them and bust them on. Man. Tell me, got him. Israel dealing with spiritual crack moments from Friday, mm-hmm. thinking you heard something you didn't, man. <laughs> man, look at you. Run away <laughs> crazy as hell. I got a good precept, too. Mm-hmm. This is Sirach 27 and 5. The furnace proveth the potter's vessel. So the trial of man is in his reasoning. Mm-hmm. The yeah. fruit declareth if the tree had been dressed. Mm-hmm. So is the utterance of a conceit in the heart of a man. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, and, and those two verses um, go hand in hand with one another. First part of it is going into the furnace. It's going to prove that vessel yep. to see if it's, it's right, if it holds, the, if it has integrity. Because mm-hmm. yeah. integrity means basically if, if it can be endure, you know, endure or held together. That's right. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. building that's cracked up and shit yeah. like that. Basically, mm-hmm. the integrity What's of the, the building. Of it? Right. That's the right. Strength. That's right. Mm-hmm. And the second part of that is going into a fruit. Let's say you you you, you take this uh, you get this apple that was planted in the deep soils of Minnetonka or whatever. Right. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then you get this GMO apple that Esau gets from from Kroger or Food for Less or whatever the case is, <laughs> you're going to be able to tell that difference how that tree has been dressed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he's likening that to the trial that we That's go through. Right there. Those yeah. that, that are able to endure. If you're able to endure, you part of that vine that the brother brought up in John 15. 15 yeah. You know what I'm saying? You part of that true vine, man. But if you ain't, you that GMO apple, that branch going to get torn off and plucked up and thrown into the fire, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to get burned up and it's not going to be able to hold together yep. and have that integrity. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Man, I got to go back to it. Oh, yeah, 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 we can wrap it up. Yeah, sure. Everybody's got something? I, I, I got some real quick if y'all don't know. Mm-hmm. All right, this, this is Hebrews 12 and 2. It says, Looking unto Yahweh, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him 
endured the cross. See, this, this verse right here is telling us a certain mind frame that mind, Jesus, right, bro. you know, like a strategy. It's saying set up strategy in your mind, and that strategy is the Lord. That's right. Yahweh shot his way, how he did it, how he moved. You know, they got that, what would Jesus do? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, yeah. I got the precept for that, First yeah. Peter 4 and 1. For as much then as Yahweh Shai has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise yes. with the same mind. Mm. For, for he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from, from sin. sins. Right, right there, brother. Mm. The yeah. So basically, you got to have the same attitude. The same, same attitude. Same attitude that Yahweh Shai had. You got to be a protege. Right. Mm -hmm. And it says right here that who for the joy in Hebrews 12 and 2, for the joy that was set before him, meaning he had that reward in his mind, man. Yeah, he was going to sit on the right hand brothers, of the Father. That's right. the, the whole reward. The brothers, all of it. Right. So we got to keep also the, the reward in mind, man. This, this, we're, we're doing this to claim, like we are speaking last night, we're doing this to claim the promise that was handed to Abraham, Isaac, Isaac and Jacob. Right. But like the, we were mentioning yesterday, the rem, only the remnant has returned to to claim it. That's right. That's right. You know, so there's a reward at the end of this thing. That's right. It says, uh, for, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of Yahweh. Mm. Meaning that despising the shame, meaning that whatever he would have to deal with, that he didn't want to deal with, he's going he gonna to take it, he's going to go head up with it. Fuck right. it. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. He kept his integrity. He kept his. He he didn't. He wasn't a coward, man. He wasn't afraid. Like them twelve spies, they didn't want to go through any type of suffering. Nah, That's why they were. They rather be like, nah, man. Let's just fall back because some of us may die. Well, so what? <laughs> we're good right here. So what if some of us would have died, man? That that land was promised to us. Yeah. Anyway. That's yeah. Right. You know. Right, so. No. Uh, hey, even if, before we went into war. There's a law before you go into war. The, the priest stands up and has a whole announcement for the whole congregation. Mm -hmm. And just loosely paraphrase, and he right, says, right. and if y'all are fearful hearted, yeah. go home. Get your ass out of here. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's a law. Mm -hmm. You know, even Matthias mm -hmm. held that when he spoke yeah. to those men. Yeah, we read about the examples yeah. of our forefathers before right. they went into some type of conflict, especially in Judges. You know what I'm saying? They would give that long speech. Yeah, it was right. a motivational speech yeah, yeah. to right. be like, man, the Lord with us, we're going to win, man. And if we die, on, so be it. It's for the Lord's sake, right, right, bro? You know? Yeah. You see it at the end of the movie 300, he's telling that story. Yeah. Everybody, ah, that's right, yeah. Yeah. That's right. 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 You know? Straight up. It gets everybody in that spirit, well, fuck it, let's all die together then that's if we it. have. Unit. So Unit. We're a unit, man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, you know that you video of Brothers Be Post on the internet? And it's, um... Pretty much, it's, it's a joke. They say it, it was like a, a basketball team. They all dapping each other up the coach, and they made a little joke uh, for all the brothers that they get put in jail for the testimony's sake, right. going into the jab or whatever. It was a clip of the basketball because they all dapping each other up, <laughs> jumping each other's shoulders and everything. That's the mindset, yeah, though. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right, we in this thing together. Yeah, you right, know what I'm saying? We all in. We put all the eggs in, the, in, in one basket, right, right, bro? You know, so it is what it is. The victory has already been guaranteed, man. You have a he got he got he was glorified up there in the heavens, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and he he did what he did so that we can be here today doing what we're doing. That's so right. that's right. Bro. So at the end of the day, we we won. We won. You know, mm -hmm. we got the victory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they say they say um, you gotta laugh to keep from crying. Yeah. Shit, yeah, that's cool. But we gonna cry about it now? Fuck this laugh about this shit. It is what it is. God damn, yeah, let's do it. it Enjoy the ride, man. You know what I'm saying? This Hebrews 4 and 16, let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace mm -hmm. that we may it's like that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help wow. in time of need. Ooh, yeah. Go ahead, I can close yeah, it out too. No? Yeah, go ahead, brother. Spend on it, close it out. Close hey, it out. That's it. We gotta come boldly unto you have a son side, you know. Brother Brock got on one to the on the fill for our hearts. Man. Man. So we gotta be confident in the Lord, man. Like I said, on the fill Lord is his treasure in Isaiah 13 and 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. That grace, man, one of the yeah. definitions is divine influence of the mind to think upon you. How about you? Know that? Heavenly. Heavenly. Right. So it's going to be sent from the heavens to you to just, boom, just have faith. Yeah. Here's that faith you need to get over this pot. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. Strengthen the minds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, close it out. Yeah, close it out. Yeah, close it out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we can't hope you was edified. Once again, we want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, and Kakradash. And the bonus to the apostles and elders of great wisdom, teaching with them, peace and love to the left. Shalom. 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 Shalom.